Hi, we're continuing our prayer tonight from the Sermon on the Mount. And we're on the last two Beatitudes, the two that are probably the hardest to pray. So they are from Matthew 5, 10 through 11. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. I invite you to close your eyes, to breathe in deeply, and to let your breath out. To take another deep breath and release it. I invite you on your in and out breath to say rejoice and be glad. 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 God, we wonder how we can rejoice and be glad when bad things are being said about us, when uncut words have been spoken, when the bullies seem to be out and forth, when the sarcasm, the joke hits a little too close to home, when the criticism, nagging, helpful comments are too much. Help us to let go, to release the words, the thought patterns that keep us stuck in hearing those critical voices. God, we wonder how to rejoice and be glad. There are places where it's not safe to practice your religion, where your faith makes you the target of violence and harassment. We pray for pastors who for the first time in their lives have been accused of preaching politics. We pray for pastors who have lost jobs for preaching your word. We pray for pastors asked to speak your truth. We pray for Christians around the world who are persecuted for their faith. We pray for people of other faiths who are the target of hatred and violence. God, we wonder how to rejoice and be glad when there are friends and family who are undergoing surgery when there are babies that are born, but they're here too soon. When there are friends and family who struggle to recover. When there are over 100.7 million cases of coronavirus since this began. 25.5 million in the United States, 1.1 million in Illinois. There is so much sickness. When there are so many deaths and so much grieving, when there are so many people struggling right now, searching for food, a job, a home, when there are so many people lonely, anxious, and lost. God, we wonder how to rejoice and be glad. So today, in this moment, we pray for your kingdom to come, for your will to be done, for heaven to touch earth. Amen.